four leading candidates in the race to fill the United States Senate seat held by the late Senator Dianne Feinstein meeting on the stage tonight for the Inside California Politics Senate debate. Fox Party's Nicky Lorenzo joins us now live from our sister station, Cron 4, where this whole thing will be taking place. Nikki, nice to see you this morning. I know you've done a ton of homework for all this. What can we expect tonight? Well, first of all, Richard, Melanie, good morning. Great to be with you guys. Uh, you know, there are going to be a lot of fireworks tonight. I want to remind voters that this is a top two primary system here in the state of California. So the battle really is for that number two spot. Adam Schiff has really led the way thus far in not only the fundraising, but the endorsements. And through all of the polling, even the polling we've done uh, with Inside California Politics, he has had that number one spot. So ballots are out. Voters are getting those ballots in the mail right now. Voting is underway. So you're going to see Katie Porter and Barbara Lee really attack Steve Garvey because Steve Garvey has gotten into this race, this lone Republican, trying to do something that no Republican has been able to do since Arnold Schwarzenegger win statewide office. He has not been on the air. He has done very few uh, public appearances, and he has own that number two spot, uh, really having that place in the race because of who he is, the former Dodgers Padres great Steve Garvey. So we're going to see the two Democrats really fight for their lives for that number two spot. Now, Nikki, during their debate last month, Porter and Schiff kind of exchanged some blows together, right. with Porter noting her record of not keeping any corporate PAC contributions, unlike her counterparts. So uh, what are these two getting heated over already going into this next debate? So, yeah, Melanie, you said it right there. That was the defining moment, really, of that first debate was the corporate PAC money and battling over that. Well, a lot has happened since then. Uh, TV ads, I'm going to tell you, being here in San Francisco, any network that you watch, you are seeing ads, Katie Porter, Adam Schiff on the airways, you know, Katie Porter going after Adam Schiff for that ad that he dropped, name checking Steve Garvey as the Republican in this race, the number two person. And we don't want, you know, to turn over California to a MAGA Republican. That's those are his words. So this all started about a week and a half ago when Adam Schiff dropped that ad. And Katie Porter took to X and she called Adam Schiff out and said that he was boxing out qualified Democratic women. So that really caused shockwaves on the Democratic side. Former Senator Barbara Boxer, we had her on Inside California Politics. She broke the news and she really said she was going to remain neutral. In the spring of last year, she told me on the show, look, yeah. I'm not going to come out. I'm not going to endorse in this race. And she came off the sidelines because of the Oh, looks oh, like her looks shot like froze right Nikki. there. No. But she's talking about such great political intrigue that's yeah. happening. She is going to be hosting the debate tonight. Uh, let's go back to her. Uh, uh, Nikki, do we have you back? Maybe. Okay, guys. Sorry. It sounds like you have me have me back again. So <laughs> I'll sort of reset the Please. table here a little bit and and go back to those political ads. Melanie, I know you asked what you know how are the knives going to come out tonight. It's going to be over those political ads, yeah. and not to use a baseball pun. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot tonight. But that might be inside baseball to some folks. That's something us political journalists follow these ads closely in their messaging. But Katie Porter accused Adam Schiff of elevating Steve Garvey, and this is you know a quote unquote tactic that. Campaigns will use you name check the candidate that you want to face in November. If you look at the uh, map in California, so to speak, Democrats outnumber Republicans two to one. That's the voting math here. So, of course, Adam Schiff wants to face a Steve Garvey in November because the way the numbers look, he would handily beat uh, Steve Garvey in November. Obviously, a lot can happen in campaigns. A race between Adam Schiff and Katie Porter would be would be. Uh, closer. And so Katie Porter's look for her to attack him, uh, you know, for those ads, you know, trying to elevate uh, Steve Garvey. And, right. and after Barbara Boxer came out and, and really criticized her for that, yeah. she's doubled down on it and, and said, look, he continues to send out mailers. And he, Adam Schiff has since then bought time on Fox News, a network mm. that he has called out for oh, propaganda wow. in the past. <laughs> really, and, and the strategy here, guys, is to elevate Republicans. And, and, yeah. and we know that Adam Schiff is a lightning rod, rod for Republican yeah. voters, especially those who like Donald Trump. So if he can encourage turnout for Republicans, that ensures that a Republican takes that number two spot yeah. in our primary and it could be off to the races. But 
Obviously, just a preview of tonight. <laughs> we have been doing a lot of work here in San Francisco yeah. preparing for this debate. Absolutely. Oh, so much going Looking on, right? There's so many yeah. questions. Yeah. I can't wait for the good. debate tonight. Nikki, thanks. It's nice talking to you on the morning. We never get to see you, and it's <laughs> nice to hear your voice and uh, talk about tonight. It's airing tonight at 7 o'clock right here on Fox 40. Nikki, look forward to it. All right. Yeah, thanks, guys. Great to be with you and hear your voices as well. Bye. Take care.